Hello, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to find the stationary points of a curve and then how to tell if those stationary points are going to be minimums or maximums of your curve. So let's start off with what even is a stationary point. Well you can see here I've drawn a curve and a stationary point is any point on the curve where your gradient is equal to zero. And so say we were looking at this part of the curve here. You can see it's decreasing and so it's going to have a negative gradient. But then as we turn and come up like this, our gradient is going to become positive. So somewhere between those two points, my gradient is going to equal zero. Okay, And that's going to be maybe somewhere like here, like that. And on that point, my gradient equals zero. So let's mark it there. And another word for a stationary point is a turning point because it's a point on the curve where it turns like that. And so by the same idea, there's going to be another stationary point right there. So there's also another way we can define these stationary points, and that is as a minimum or a maximum. So if my gradient is going from decreasing okay, to increasing, then that is what we call a minimum of the curve. And so this point here is going to be a minimum. And then if it's the opposite, so my gradient is going from increasing and then it changes to decreasing, we call that point of the curve a maximum. So this point of the curve here is a maximum. So say we weren't given a nice graph like this, say we were just given an equation like y equals x cubed. How could we find the stationary points of the graph and then how could we find if it's a minimum or a maximum? Well, to find if where the stationary points are is quite easy. All we have to do is find the gradient, which we could do by finding dy by dx. And then we could set that equal to zero because at that point, that's where my gradient of the graph equals zero. And then we could solve it to find values of x. And those values of x would be the coordinates of the stationary points. But how could I then find out if that stationary point is a minimum or a maximum? Well, let's take a look at what's happening to the gradient around the stationary point. So let's start off with the minimum. So you can see at this point here, my gradient is going to be negative, isn't it? So let's say the gradient is, I don't know, negative 10, for example. Well, as I get closer to that minimum, say this point here, my gradient is going to be slightly less negative. It might be negative 2. And then as we actually get to the stationary point, the gradient is going to be 0. And then as we come out, the gradient is going to become positive. So the gradient here is 2. And say the gradient here was positive 10, for example. So you can see, as we go around the stationary point, our gradient goes from being negative to positive. And so what we can do is find the rate of change of the gradient. And we can do that by taking what's called the second derivative, which is d2y by dx squared. Okay, And you can imagine that tells me the gradient of whatever the gradient function is. So if it's going from negative to positive, it's going to be increasing. So you can imagine the gradient is positive. And so if my second derivative is greater than zero, then that means I'm going to have a minimum. Whoops. Minimum. And so by the same logic, if we took a look at the maximum here, we'll say my gradient there is 10. As I get closer, it's going to get slightly less positive. So here it might be 2. At the stationary point, it might be 0. And then say negative 2 and say negative 10. So you can see around the maximum, my gradient is going from a positive number and then changing to a negative. So the gradient of that is going, well, it's changing from a positive number to a negative, and so its gradient is going to be negative. So the second derivative, d2y by dx squared, if that is less than zero, then we have a maximum. So I think this makes a lot more sense if we take a look at an example. So you can see here, we have find the coordinates of the stationary points of the curve, y equals x cubed plus 3x squared minus 2. And you can see we've been given a nice sketch of that curve there. And then it says determine their nature. So all that means is for each stationary point, find out if it's a minimum or a maximum. That's actually all it means. So the first thing we're going to do is find the derivative of this curve, because if we do that, we can then find out where the gradient equals 0. So we're going to find dy by dx. And you can see for this curve, we're just going to multiply by the power, take one off the power. So we're going to get 3x squared plus 6x. And so where does this equal 0? Well, we can find out by setting the first derivative equal to 0. So we can say 3x squared plus 6x equals 0. And you can see we get a nice quadratic equation we can solve. So we can just factorize out 3x and we get x plus 2 equals 0. And therefore, we get x equals 0 or x equals negative 2. And you can check by looking at the sketch at those points, x equals 0 and x equals negative 2. That's where our stationary points are. So now to get the coordinates, I just need to find the corresponding y value. So when x equals 0, if I substitute that into the curve here, that will tell me 
the corresponding y coordinate. And so if I substitute in x equals zero, I'm gonna get y equals negative two. And I'm gonna do the exact same now, but for x equals negative two. So if I substitute that in here, I'll get that I get a y coordinate of positive two. So y equals positive two. And so now we've found the coordinates of the stationary points. We've got zero, negative two, and we've also got negative two, two. So these are the coordinates of our stationary points. So now we just need to determine their nature or find out if it's a minimum or a maximum. If we take a look up here, you can see we could do that by taking the second derivative and seeing if it was greater or less than zero. So this was our first derivative, 3x squared plus 6x. So the second derivative, d2y by dx squared, well, that's going to be equal to 6x plus 6. And so all we're going to do is substitute the x coordinate of each stationary point into the second derivative and see if it's greater or less than zero. So we can say at x equals zero, so that we're talking about this point here. So at x equals zero, then d2y by dx squared, well, that's going to equal six multiplied by zero plus six, so just six, and that's greater than zero. So therefore, the coordinate zero, negative two is going to be a minimum of the curve like that because the second derivative is greater than zero and now we're going to do the exact same but for the other coordinate so at x equals negative two so now we're going to look at let's get rid of this now we'll look at this point here so at x equals negative two d2y by dx squared is going to be equal to six multiplied by negative two plus six so that's just negative 12 plus six which equals negative six and that's less than zero Therefore, the coordinates negative two, two is a maximum. And if we go and look at the curve, you can see that, yep, that's our minimum and that's our maximum. So hopefully that was useful. If it was, subscribe to my channel and go and check out all of my other videos. Thanks for watching.